All right, I don't know if I've shown this on camera or not. If I have, sorry, but I'm going to show it again. Um, when I was working on the Hickok tester, the uh, TV7, um, I said I would do a video on this one. So this is the other tube tester that I've been using for quite a while. Uh, it is a EMC model 213215, Electronic Measurements Corporation. Don't know who they are uh, in New York. So uh, yeah, so this is what I this is what I had. Let's turn it on. Yeah, meter. That meter seems to be stuck. Let me put it down horizontally. Yeah, maybe it's better horizontally. So let's move the camera. All right. So uh, this one has the all of the same kind of switches and stuff and different sockets and things. This one actually has a transistor tester in it, NPN, PNP, tubes and transistors, huh? Wow, that's pretty spiffy, even for TO3. Quality and shorts, on, off. I'm letting it warm up if it needs to be warmed up. I don't know, it comes with the book. The book has got the, all of the, how do you set the, the settings and everything, but I think there's a schematic in the back. If I remember it, yeah, there's a schematic in the back. And it is, uh, there's no active components in this thing, so there's nothing to go wrong in here. It's a real crude one, kind of the kind you'd get at the uh, grocery store, I think. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so let's test the tube in it. Uh, let's see, we had a 12AU7. All right, 12AU7. It says that we set the filament, filament volts to D, filament select, filament volts, filament select, oh, filament select to nine, D9, and then slide seven A, See, D9, one and two. We go up and two, one and two, and everything else is low, I guess. Shunt at 28. 28's about there. Let's get out our tube. Uh, where does he plug in here? Or up here. Up here, I guess. So we will let him turn on. There we go. Oh, we're getting a, oh, so you don't have to push any buttons or anything. It just says it's good. <laughs> Didn't have to do anything. It's good. All right. And then um, turn off. So the other setting was AU7, Blah, blah, blah. So six and seven, one and two down, and six and seven up to test the other, to test the other side of the tube. Takes about a few seconds to warm up, and there we go. It says it's good. Very nice. All right. And um, the other tube that I had was a six DJ eight. All right. Six, six, D, six, D, J, next page. All right, six, D, J, eight. All right, so D, four, D, four, one and two. Uh, 21. All right, turn him on. I see him starting to glow. And there's the test. Now remember the second side was a little better than the first side. Let's see if this sh shows the same thing. This one shows it, shows it very good. 
All right, and then the other, everything's the same except for six and seven. So turn on six and seven and let it warm up again. And this one's not as good. So it must be just the reverse of the other, uh, reverse of that other meter that one side was a little hotter than the other. So yeah, there you go. Uh, EMC model 215 tube and trans I've never, you know, I've never tested a transistor in this thing. Should we test a transistor? Why not? Uh, let's see. What do I have in my hand? I think it is time for magnifying glass. Let's see. Okay, I've got a 2222 in my hand. All right. So turn this off, take the tube out. Uh, let's see here, emitter, emitter base collector, S, I don't know what S is, emitter base collector, okay, emitter base collector, okay, I'll put that in there, NPN, all right, now we need to read the instructions here for how to test transistors. Uh, uh, let's see, quality test. Hmm. I don't see instructions on using. All right. So over, after looking at the schematic here, this is the, uh, this is the schematic for this device. Um, the circuit that runs the um, diode test seems to have a three volt battery in the circuit. So I'm assuming inside the box is a place to put in a three volt battery or probably two 1.5 volt batteries. Um, so should we look inside? Yeah, why don't we look inside? All right, look at that mess. <laughs> well, Everything's point to point inside. Uh, got lots of little wires going every which direction. Yeah, what a mess. What a mess. Uh, anyway, yep. I need two seed batteries to make the uh, transistor part work, but that just means that we're not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to go find some batteries. And I don't care about transistor testers. Anyway. I've got a transistor curve tracer. So there you go. But back in the day, people really liked testing their transistors. That's for sure. All right, there you go. A electronic... Measurements Corporation tube tester from the way back days.